Right, little staircase project we've got here, lads. So, key terminology on the staircase, we've got the null post, we've got the string, which the treads and risers go into, we've got another null here, this is our base rail, hand rail, spindles, oh, sorry, sorry, even experts make mistakes, spacers, and we've got the spindles over here. Right, so what I did first is I attached, come in a minute, Jack, Attach the base rail to here, yeah? Okay, now the center of the hand rail and the base rail has got to be center of the null. Now, for these angled cuts, now this might come up in your EPA, is that I had to get the pitch of the staircase. So the pitch of this staircase here is 37 degrees. Okay, all right, so 37 degrees. So I've got that. So I've come down here 37. 37. Okay, I simply laid that on top of there and marked the underside. Now my handrail, which is these out here. Okay. Key thing in building is to keep stuff parallel and square. So these are perfectly parallel. So often for bottom there, okay, I've fit in nice and tight. So that is a 37 degree cut on the chop saw. 37. Okay, and I've left a little 15 mil stub tenon on it. Now, for the tenon, the rule of thumb is that should be a third. Okay, so a third, a third, a third. So that's 45, 15, 15, 15. Okay, so that there is the same size. Okay, all right. It's going to keep everything parallel. Now, on here, okay, what I've done is I've done a tiny little uh, mortise in there, which this tenon is going to sit into. Now I've cut, come up off of the base rail 900, okay, because the minimum pitch, uh, sorry, minimum height, minimum height of a handrail in a domestic dwelling is 900 off the pitch line. I'm a couple of inches above where the pitch line would be there, so I'm airing on, on the side of caution. So my my handrail is. Is finishing central to this newel here. Okay, so I've worked that out. So when you do it for your EPA or your assessment, you want to use a good quality wood wood glue. So plenty of wood glue on there and on there. So we're going to slot it in like so, and it should be a nice tight fit. Okay, and then. On site, I'd drive a 70 or 100 mil screw in through here. So I've got the drill on number one, so I'm gonna get a real nice tight fix in. Through there. So for my spindles, I've measured the gap in between 590. So the maximum space in between a spindle is 100 mil to comply with building regs. So I know that I'm going to need about five spindles. So I've cut five spindles. Now, what I've done here is you can see there's a rebate here and here, here and here. So I've, that's 11 mil. So I've come back 11 mil and I've come back 11 mil and then I've put the spindle on the top and then I've marked where the short and the long the mitre is to produce that. And yet, again, that's 37 degrees. Now it's really important that these are tight fitting. You don't want to be able to move them up and down, okay, because that will affect the quality of your finish, all right? And it makes it hard to fit in. So I'm going to put all five in the bottom to begin with. going to count how many spaces I need. So one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So from there, I'm measuring off 100 for accuracy. Okay. I've got 547. 547. So Five four seven. 
divided by 6 equals 91 mil. 91. So what I've done on the choppy, 37 again, from the long to the short, okay, so from the long to the short there, I'm 91 mil on these spaces. So, taking them out, now, bit of glue on these as well. I'm not gluing these in because this is my example piece. Okay, so I put a bit of glue on the bottom, a bit of glue on the top, and I'd hold these in with a little bit of masking tape, maybe, if I was on site. And these at the top, I'm gonna to put these in here, and I'm gonna put a pin in those, a little pin there, okay? So then, I'm gonna slot these in. You wanna make sure that they're perfectly flush with the handrail and the base ray re rebate. Just repeat the fact that I'm not gluing these in because it's just a demo that I take apart to show the kids all the time. But you can use a bit of masking tape to hold these in. I'm not putting a pin through there because if it was pin finished timber, it'd obviously leave a mark. But if it was painted, you could pin them in as well. Okay, so then for the last one, I'm in there. Okay, I'm in there. Now, check I'm compliant. I'm below 100 mil there, I've got 72 mil spacing. Okay, everything's nice and equal, everything's nice and tight. There's no gap on the handrail. Okay, and we're absolutely solid. The null post is, uh, the handrail is sitting central to the null post. Okay, happy days. What I want you to do, guys, if you're in bed because of COVID-19, is I want you to watch this video and draw, draw a method statement.